to Oktoberfest. It's day 10. Welcome. If you have made it to double digits, yay, you made it this far. We've been having so much fun. If you didn't make it, go back, check out the playlist. You can subscribe to the 2019 playlist. You can also go back and watch the 2018 playlist as well. So this year we have giveaways every day. We have coupons every day and we have a blog post every day. So you can go and check all of those fun things out. You can check out all the cool things that are going on. You can win lots of crafty goodies, surprises, all of those kinds of fun things as well. So go check all those things out. And of course, hit subscribe, join the Perks program. You'll get a birthday card from us amongst other fun things going on. Um, you can like this video, it really does help us. And you can check out all the other th cool things going on too. Now today I am working with metallic watercolors. I have really my Hero Arts ones here. And I've got some of my top tips to share with you because I don't know about you, but I buy all of these new things when they come out and they just released a rose gold and I want to say like a light silver. I can't remember the colors. I did order them. They're not here yet as I'm filming this video, but I'm going to share this video with you anyway because I want to share some tips with you. And I've heat embossed this skull, which is actually part of the Day of the Dead stamp set. This is the stamp set here, Sugar Skulls. And I love Sugar Skulls, so normally like I'd add this detail in or something. But the first thing I would do is stamp this out and I've heat embossed it in black. Um, because if you heat emboss, it really will help you. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do, particularly with metallic watercolors, is shake because they have mica pigments in them. So you're gonna to want to mix that up with the rest of the pigment inside your watercolor. Now, normally they tend to have a silver ball in them. This one doesn't seem to, or for some reason it's not budging. Maybe some of, no, none of them seem to. So I'm gonna give it a really, really good shake. Now these are glass bottles, so of course you're not gonna to wanna to tap it on the side of your, um, desk like I normally would. So I'm just going to kind of bang it on my hand because it's going to agitate that mica a little bit more. So I'm going to give it a nice go and then what I'm going to do is suck some up and pop it there we go pop it down on my work surface. And you want to also grab some of your other colors. So I'm gonna do the same with the purple while I'm chatting with you. So I'd love to know so far what's your favorite thing about Inktoberfest. Um, I'd love to know what your favorite day has been. Have you created all 10 tags so far? Don't forget you can also create variations too. If you don't have the exact products we're using, maybe you don't have these Hero Arts watercolors, but has some other metallic watercolors go grab those go grab a different stamp set you can still create the tags in a different variation and take those top tips and use them um, and I write on there I write day 10 and I'll write 2019 so that I know if I need to refer back to a video because trust me I forget some of the tips I share I'll be like oh that's a really cool idea that I had and then you know three months later I've forgotten what that idea was so it's really cool for me to be able to go and refer back to those as well so I'm just going to drop some of this pigment on I'm kind of struggling to suck it up but I've got it on the tip there so I'm just going to use these couple of colors that I've got here now you can use them in their pure form just like this and I always like using an aqua painter just because it's simple so if I wanted to for instance just color in the center of the eyes the heat embossing is going to always keep your pigment exactly where you want it so there is a top tip if you heat emboss it keeps your pigment inside exactly where you want it if I was to, for instance to now add some water into that it's also going to activate that mica a little bit more and you're going to see more of that sparkle so I could drag a bit more color into this just like this and you're probably going to see more of that sparkle. Now my sugar skull is going to look all over the place because I'm going to be showing you techniques, but that's fine. That's what these samples are about. It's about experimenting. There is no, you know, doing wrong, going wrong, all of those kinds of things when we're just experimenting. So we can try those kinds of things out. Um, now other things you can try, of course you can mix custom colors together. 
Um, we can also do really beautiful backgrounds. So we can go in and we can add more water in here and we can think about just dragging out color. You're also going to find it's very different if we add water in first. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna make sure I have a wet background. I'm just doing it from the side because I find it easier to see from the side. And then I'll start adding that water. Now, do you see how much easier that is to add that paint on? But do you also see that the paint looks a little bit different? So if I'm looking at this here, this looks lighter than this because I've added more water to it because I had water down there first. But I could go back and I could make it darker. But I can make super cool backgrounds. I can go and paint. So if you add water down, but remember, this is still a watercolor pigment. So the watercolor is only gonna go where you've added water. So if you want to paint an area, if you add water first, your paint is only ever gonna go where you've added that water. But you're gonna get a much creamier, easier way to move that color around. So super simple. So another tip I had for you is to always add water. So if for instance, I wanted to paint a heart. Okay, I'm not the best freestyle artist. And of course it's hard to see because I'm doing it on a tag. And then if I took my gold here, you can see that this paint is not moving outside of where that water is. It is bleeding, but it's only bleeding within that water. It's not bleeding anywhere else. So if you put your water down first, that's the only place it's going to bleed out to. So, you can do those kinds of things first. You can also, of course, just do very freehand. You could just go and paint a heart. As I say, I am no artist. And this is where, remember I was telling you with your alcohol markers to practice your flicking. Your flicks, again, are gonna be really important with your painting. And you can paint really super cute backgrounds. You can do flares, you could do this around your skulls, you can do the exact same techniques with your watercolors, you can practice in exactly the same way with your watercolors as you can with your alcohol markers. So same techniques apply whether we are talking about with your alcohol markers, whether we're talking about with your metallic watercolor paints, with your regular watercolor paints, whatever we're talking about, all of those techniques are gonna apply. So we're talking about those foundation exercises. Go back, check out that video where I was talking about practice your flicking. Come back and practice the same with your aqua painters as well. So um, check out today's giveaway. Um, check out the coupons. Check out all of those fun things as well, of course, as well as all the subscriptions and things. And then come back for tomorrow's video. We've got some super fun things going on. I'm going to be at Ranger HQ this weekend as well. Lots and lots of fun things still to come. We're not even halfway through Inktoberfest. So lots of fun goodies, lots of fun events still going on. I hope you enjoyed today's tips. We're going to teach you lots more about how to control your paints, how to control your inks as well. And I absolutely adore metallics as well. I am all about the glitz and sparkle. Don't forget to try out metallics and watercolors with heat embossing. I think you'll find the control much, much easier because it won't move around on you so much. So happy Inktoberfest, happy double digits day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.